Genius, get onto my show. Absolutely. Yeah. And I had a lovely time for about a year, and then, uh, and then hands started to. And you didn't have a thing work. with Hans when you came out? No, not really. I mean, I, it had been a while since I'd last seen him. He Last time I'd seen him, he said, you should come out. And then I hadn't seen him for a while. Right. And then I did come out. And I, I said, hi, I'm here. And you definitely had that look <laughs> on his face, which was, who the fuck are you? And uh, But he was wonderful. And, and he, he, um, he set me to work on a variety of really interesting things. And actually, that was when I started working with DreamWorks uh -huh. uh, and Jeffrey. So I, I kind of got thrown into doing you know arrangements and helping out on the songs for prince of egypt and there i was with jeffrey and just and almost overnight yeah I mean, incredible yeah and uh and you know it's not overnight i mean I've obviously your life had led up to this 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 is something as soon as i said that i said this is some bullshit that people say that i can't stand but overnight and well, it just happened it, it's, it's not, not really it's I a mean, long series of overnights you did yeah yeah i think uh, every every st doing my first jingle for 350 quid for mm -hmm. a magazine about cars mm -hmm that went out in the south of England only, right. local TV. Right. That was an overnight. Yeah. For me, that was the difference between... It's 20 years of overnight success. Yeah, having never done anything, then you did it, and they like it, mm -hmm. and then they send you the check. Mm -hmm. that, was a, that was a very fulfilling moment. Mm -hmm. You look back on it, you think, God, you know, that's kind of a bit crap. But that was it. But hell, at the time, I, yeah. I, I, you know, it was important. So you just go through... Overnight every successes. time, every time, every time you try and do that, mm -hmm. whether or not it's something big, it's always big. That's it's right. honestly always big. I mean, I've always felt that, you know, right. driving to the first meeting for doing your first film mm -hmm. is... You don't forget it. You don't forget it, mm -mm. you know, but then driving to the first meeting of a film that then becomes incredibly successful, you don't forget that one, or... Or having mm -hmm. the meetings with the filmmaker who then fires you—you you mm -hmm. don't forget those ones. Mm -hmm. It's all—it's all just steps. Let's all. talk about that one. <laughs> 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 well, the laugh is that I always say that I've been—I would be fired on every film I do if I didn't rewrite the score every time I do it. Huh? You know, uh, that's the difference between being fired and not being fired. Is, right. Um, and that's where the rubber meets the road, too. That's yeah. what—that's what separates the boys from the men is the rewrite. So I've written some screenplays, and they're that the writing the first draft is the most enjoyable, thrilling, <laughs> wonderful thing yeah. you could ever do. But the rewrites are like having your nails pulled out. Yeah. But that's the trick: is that hands. I remember hands saying to me, um, I remember asking him, "How can you? How can you bear to do this? You know, you wrote, <laughs> you wrote. I, I'd sit there after the meeting, and you know, and I'd seen somebody come in and rip apart what was clearly a excellent Brilliant. excellent mm -hmm. cue somebody who knows nothing about yeah. music yeah. yeah but they yeah. knew what about their film mm -hmm. and so i'm sitting there with hands i said how can you how can you be so kind of happy with mm -hmm. them about basically redoing a week of work mm -hmm. and he goes well you don't understand i i get to write it again wow and he was genuinely excited no, that wow. he could he could try it again and he could he could figure it out a different way. He, he looked at the criticism as a gift. Yes, yes, very hard to do. I think that's a ta that's a, more than a talent. That's just a kind of a, uh, a genetic gift. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But but putting yourself in that frame of mind when you collaborate is is actually the key to it. Did you have to learn that? Yes, yeah. I did. I was not good at it. I'd that's collaborated right. in lots of ways, and I was very good at certain types of collaboration. But mm -hmm. then. When it came to collaborating in certain, in th in that way that you just don't have any, you don't have respect for the other person's musical understanding, mm -hmm. that proved to be hard. Because mm -hmm. up till then, I'd always kind of collaborated with everybody. You know, was I would, you know, you'd respect their right their abilities, their talents, right, and, and their then, opinions. Yeah, yeah. And then you're looking at it and you're going, well, I really, really think you're wrong. And so the reaction is either stamping your feet and mm -hmm. saying, no, I won't change it because mm -hmm. you're wrong, you're an idiot. Mm -hmm. or, you, or you try and figure out how to fix it in a way that doesn't damage it. Right. Or you throw it away and start again. Right. And it depends on the person. And you've done all three of those. Oh, yeah. 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 And what yeah. led to you being fired? The, the first? Of just um, putting your foot down and saying, no way. Uh, th I think the first what I was fired from was I wasn't even fired I just wasn't hired yeah and it was 
it was a a film that I wrote a load of tunes for, and on, like on spec or yeah, well, or sort like of. Demo, you know, Hans had kind of got me in and and said, look, this guy could do this, mm-hmm. and so I started to write, and and it wasn't working for the filmmaker. You know, it was actually a producer, and mm-hmm. uh, he he wasn't that interested, and and he he eventually said it's it's uh, it's too f- it's not masculine enough, not masculine enough. You know. Oh, okay. And uh, and I think what I took that to be at the time was moronic enough, uh, and that's the wrong way to think of it. 